Hey friends, welcome to Relatively Refined. My name is Paula. Well, if you think that the background today looks a little different, you're absolutely right. I am down here in Florida visiting my mom, Judy, whom you've met in a couple of our videos. We had a fun day of thrifting today, so I'm gonna share with you some of the goodies that we found while we were out and about. And in addition, my sister Patty sent down a box of thrifted items that she got for me last summer. And it's been so long, I can't even remember what they are. So I have them laid out here next to me and I'm gonna share those with you as well. Before we get started with the haul, let me share a few clips of our thrifting adventures from today. The first place that we went today was to Goodwill. And of course I had to start in the dishes, even though I have no business buying dishes. I thought these teacups were really pretty, sort of like a little French scene on the front of them. There was no shortage of mugs, teacups, dishware at all. This Goodwill was fully stocked in the dishware department. This was a gorgeous set of Noritake china. I think it was Noritake. I think I turned this over in a minute. Yes, Noritake china. It was absolutely beautiful. And it was $49.98 for the whole set. And it had you know, sugar bowl, creamer, plates, teacups, absolutely beautiful. I thought that green glass plate was kind of cool. And then I loved this platter. I did put it in my buggy and rode around with it for a while, but in the end I put it back because my daughter said I have nowhere to put it. So I left it there. <laughs> I am a sucker also for Japanese stoneware. These reminded me of my friend Becky over at My Little Vintage Home. She loves Japanese stoneware as much as I do. Here's some more of those dishes with a, a slightly different kind of French scene. These were pretty, but a number of them looked like they perhaps had been through the dishwasher, dishwasher, excuse me, which is unfortunate because they are 22 karat gold and a dishwasher will ruin them. Here's another Japanese stoneware platter. I was so tempted to pick this up. I'm not sure why I didn't for only $1.98. I kind of wish I had. I love that. Then I saw these beautiful little Pimpernel coasters and I loved them and I was tempted to get them and I did put them in my buggy. However, again, my daughter Neve said that nobody uses coasters. <laughs> so I put them back, even though we do use coasters sometimes, but she said I didn't need them. So I listened to her. I think that was a candle in the shape of an acorn there. All right, here we are now at the antique mall. And I loved this little heart-shaped biscuit cutter with the red handle. I love red and green wooden-handled vintage Christmas, uh, Christmas, I'm sorry, vintage kitchen items. This is the Spice of Life pattern Corningware, which I love. And I have a couple of them. And Try to see what that says. I think that says 1999 for that one. And it did not have a top so I left that on the shelf. That's hazel whining. There's a macrame owl right from the 70s. There were some pretty milk glass cups and then I thought this coffee set was gorgeous with the applied violets it was $55 for the three-piece set, but I just thought that was so beautiful, was so delicate. I loved these two chickens down here. I don't know, I have a thing for chickens. 
and uh, they looked like they probably had some age to them. They had a little bit of paint loss on them, but I thought they were really cute. I don't know what that says. $20 for the pair, I think. I did leave those there as well. I showed some restraint today. I do have a haul for you at the end, but I did show some restraint. I absolutely loved this chrome cake dome and cake plate. I really had to show some restraint and not get that. A, I don't have room for it, and B, I do not need it, but I just loved it. I thought this little cheese dome was very cute. It had a real 70s vibe, and I really loved that as well. I liked the uh, hexagonal shaped cheese board, and that was $29.50, which was a little more than I would want to pay for that. I loved that trivet. I thought that was so cute. Lots and lots of dishes that I don't need, but that I do really appreciate and love. I thought this Wedgwood Wild Briar Sugar Bowl was just adorable. And who can resist a pink Melmac creamer? I did leave it there. I did resist it, but it was so cute. I loved it. And I thought that the lines on this coffee pot were just exquisite. I loved it. Hazel, come here. Hazel's whining. Every time I go to do a voiceover, the dogs whine or snore. <laughs> um, I loved this little egg cup. And it is made in the Republic of Ireland. I believe in, oh, that's upside down, but I believe that says Arklo, which is a town, I think, on the west coast of Ireland, but I'm not 100% sure. And it is ironstone. It's a little Humpty Dumpty scene on it. I thought these teacups were just beautiful with the violet flowers. I think it says Royal Albert. Really beautiful. That peacock figurine was very cool. Just lots and lots of fun things to look at. All right, well, let me get started with my haul. So it's in no particular order. I'm just gonna grab things as I can. I have it all laid out right here next to me and I'm just gonna get started. The first thing that I found at the Goodwill today was this huge, <laughs> it's, as you can see, very large. Can't even get it all in the frame. Uh, sort of weather barometer Thingy. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's got a thermometer, it's got a barometer, and then it's got something that measures the humidity, and it's very cool. It was, let me put my glasses on for this. It was $14.98, and it was made in England exclusively for Swift & Anderson, Inc., Boston, Massachusetts, and I thought it was so cool, and it works. The thermometer is accurate, the, the uh, barometer is accurate, and I think this will look great hanging somewhere in the house. I really loved it. In fact, we had been eyeing one of these in our local antique store, and it, it was over $100 um, in the store. So I was thrilled to find this for, and here's the, the tag for $14.98. So that was one of the first things that I spotted. Put that down. Um, let's see. Also at the Goodwill, I found this vintage um, ceramic rooster, chicken rooster. Uh, he, he was $3.98, and that's the dog you can hear banging around her bowl in the background. <laughs> Phoebe and Hazel made the trip with me and my daughter to visit Judy. So anyway, I loved him. He does have some paint loss but I don't mind that at all. I think it adds to his character and he will be adorable just sitting on some shelf somewhere. And he, he, he definitely is, I believe he's probably made in Japan. I think at the bottom um, where that is, it's hard to read, but I do believe that that actually said Japan at one time. So I found him 
and yes, I said he was 398. And let's see. Um, I'm going to show you something that my sister sent for me and then something that I got to go with it at Goodwill. So my sister found this beautiful um, red willow dishware at her Habitat for Humanity Restore. Here is the teacup. And excuse me while I reach over here and grab the plate. Isn't this gorgeous? I think this will look so beautiful on a Christmas table or now a Valentine's Day tablescape, which I think I probably will be doing one of those for Relatively Refined, but I just loved it. And it, it was the plate and the cup and saucer that came in the set. And she got six sets of these for $20. And um, there was also a beautiful platter that went with this. So for $20, she got six plates and six cup and saucer sets. Well, today, um, and I love them. I, I'm thrilled to have them. Today at Goodwill, I found these beautiful kind of pinkish red floral dishes. And they are um, by Syracuse China. I think it's the Mayflower pattern. And I thought they would look gorgeous as salad plates with the red willow ware. So let me just, hope that's not too loud. Let me just hold up, excuse me, hold up these together. And I think this will look so beautiful on a Valentine's or a Christmas tablescape. So they were um, $1.98 a plate, which is, is quite a bit more expensive than at my Goodwill up in South Carolina. I think plates are 99 cents up there, but I loved these and there were five. So I did get five of them for $1.98 a piece. Now again, I probably am the last person on the planet that needs to be buying dishes, but I could not resist them. Patty also sent me this beautiful cake stand in this jadeite color. Now this is not vintage, but she um, knows that I love jadeite. This is Martha Stewart, and she got one for herself and one for me, and I absolutely love this. How beautiful will this be on a spring table? This color is just gorgeous, and I cannot wait to use it this spring. And I love this kind of looped detail around the edge. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a little one, so maybe more of a, um, cupcake stand or something. It's not, um, it's not a, a big cake stand, but it's just gorgeous. I love it. And you know how I feel about my jadeite. So that was also from Patty. Um, my mom at, a, at an estate sale um, in Vermont when she was up there last summer, she got this beautiful watercolor print, or not print, it's a painting, an original piece of artwork for me. And it's unframed and it's just on the watercolor paper, but it's a beautiful Vermont barn. The woman who um, owned the house where the estate sale was being held, the family was moving. And so they were, I don't know if they were downsizing or just kind of having an estate sale, but she was an artist and there were four watercolor pictures. And my mom got three and my sister Kathleen got the last one. Um, and that was of the Dorset Quarry. And she shared that in a haul, I think last summer. And I'll link that video if I can remember to do so um, in the iCards and in the description box. But I love this and I can't wait to frame it and hang it on my wall. Okay, also at the Goodwill, I found this beautiful, um, W.M. Rogers silver plated uh, creamer. It does have some tarnish on it, but that will clean up very, very easily. It was $3.98, and there is the mark on the bottom that says William Rogers. And Patty had one of these, she hauled one of these at Christmas time, and she showed it with a little bottle brush tree in it, and I thought that was just adorable. And so when I saw this, I thought I'm gonna save this aside for next Christmas and put a little bottle brush tree in it. But so I love it. So there is that. 
also from the Goodwill. I got this little pewter box. It is, um, it's pretty small. It's about the size of my hand. And it does have some engraving on the top. It says I-C-E-D-P. I don't know what that stands for, or D-R, I guess. I can just see it without the glare. But I watch a channel called Tarnished Treasures, and I love her. She's an art teacher, and she's just so creative. If you have not seen her channel, I'll link it below. It's fantastic. But she loves monogrammed items. And so I guess I was channeling my inner Tarnished Treasures when I saw this little uh, trinket dish and I just couldn't resist it. And I took the tag off this already. Um, the bottom says Salisbury Pewter. I don't know if you'll be able to read that on the very bottom there. And it was $2.98. Let's see. Um, all right. Uh, my mom got a couple things at the Goodwill, which I will actually share with you as well. She got this um, really cute sugar dish. It's good size, so she's gonna use it for candy at Christmas, and it has the cutest little graphics on it. These little children with a sled, and then some snowmen, and it is Mikasa. I think it's Mikasa. No, it's False Graph. I'm sorry, it's False Graph, and it was $2.98, and it's just adorable. There's a little angel on the top. So she got that to use for Christmas candy next Christmas. She also got this really cute soap dish. Very, very pretty. Um, whoops, I'm holding it upside down. There we go. It's a butterfly and it has some flowers. It's very pretty and it will, the colors are very um, rich jewel tones and she has a lot of those in her house and this will look so beautiful in her bathroom. And that was $2.98 as well. All right. Um, at a thrift store near the Goodwill, um, I got a couple of sweaters. They were $2, which you cannot beat that. This one is an Eddie Bauer, and it is this beautiful yellow, just a cotton, you know, crew neck sweater. But it's perfect for South Carolina in the early spring when it's a little bit cool, but not, not uh, cool enough to, to need anything heavier than a cotton sweater. By afternoon, it warms right up. But I thought this yellow sweater or this yellow color was gorgeous. Um, so I got that. And then also for $2, I got this beautiful cable knit green sweater. Again, just a cotton, it's hundred percent cotton long sleeve sweater. And I absolutely love it. And this is by Charter Club. So for $4, I got two sweaters and that is a deal no matter what way you slice it. All right. I'm just going to reach across here one more time. And then my sister Patty sent, found these glasses. Now, let me just preface this by saying, you all know I have a problem with glassware and I don't need any more glasses, but these are phenomenal and I cannot wait to put them out. It is this caddy. There are eight glasses in the caddy. They're in perfect condition and they are so pretty. Look at those. I absolutely love them. And they are in great condition. They are not worn or scratched. They haven't been put through the dishwasher. And I love the mid-century lines of this glass caddy. Look at that. Is that not phenomenal? I am so excited. And you will fall out of your chair when I tell you that she paid $5 for this set of eight glasses and the caddy. I know. She was FaceTiming me when she was at the store and she kind of FaceTimed and I saw them as she walked past and I said, wait, stop, what are those? And when she showed them to me, I said, you have to get those for me. We'll figure out how to get them down to South Carolina. I don't care what you have to do, but um, please get those. They're fabulous. And she did. And let's see. 
Um, there is one more thing that I'm gonna share with you, and I got this at a little antique store today that we went to as we were out and about. And it is, oh, Hazel, that's Hazel whining. It's okay, Hazel. You okay? Um, come on, hold on one second. Let me get the dog. Come on, good girl. All right, all right. It is this fabulous vintage egg cup, and it has Humpty Dumpty on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let me make sure the camera's focusing on that. Isn't that adorable? And it's on the other side as well. And it's just got this gold rim around the end, edge, and it's ironstone. And if that will focus, it says it is made in the Republic of Ireland. All right, Hazel. And I just thought this was too cute to pass up. And I sort of hemmed and hawed about it because it was $6. Um, but I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll just get it anyway. And when I got to the counter to pay, it was 40% off. So it was a little over $3. Totally worth it, in my opinion. My sister Kathleen has a collection of vintage egg cups and she shared those in her Easter tablescape, which I will also link. And I thought, what a fun thing to collect. They're little, they don't take up a lot of space and they're just so fun. So that's what I got at the antique store today. And I believe that that is it for this Florida thrift haul. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I really, oh, Hazel. We are so appreciative of all of you who have helped support our channel. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. We are so excited. We hope to get to um, 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year, or 10,000 by the end of this year, 5,000 by the summer. So if you are not subscribed, we would love to have you join the Relatively Refined family. Click the notification bell and we will send you a notification whenever we upload a video, which is typically on Mondays and Thursdays. We have the best subscribers and we so enjoy hearing from you. So leave us a comment. We love, we try to reply to all comments um, and we do love to hear from our subscribers. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me today. I appreciate it. On the screen are a few more videos from Relatively Refined we think you'll enjoy.